What's up guys, Viper FPV here and today I'm going to be reassigning um, the motor outputs on the Lumineer Alpha all-in-one flight controller. And we're also going to be doing, um, as you've seen in my last video, we used the smart port um, wire. We went to the LED pin. Uh, so we're going to reassign that so we can use it uh, for smart audio. So let's go over and look at CLI on Betaflight. Make sure you're already connected. So the first thing you want to do is type in resource list. What this is going to do, let me scroll up here. You're going to show what pins each motor is on. So for instance, motor 3 is on A03, motor 4 is on A02, and motors 1 and 2 are on, uh, 1's on B00 and motor 2's on B01. So the first thing we need to do is free up these pins and what you want to do is you want to write down what these pins are correlating to the motor. So get a piece of paper out, write motor 1 B00, motor 2 B01, and then on motor 3 A03, motor 4 A02. So the things we're going to do is we're going to go to resource, motor 1, none. So we're freeing up the resources. You want to repeat that. And then you want to hit save so it frees them up. Let it reconnect. And then now since I have my LED, I mean I'm sorry, my USB port on the left side of my quad if you're looking from the back of it. Um, I have them assigned that way. So what I'm going to do here is now motor 1, so we're going to go to resource, motor 1, now will be A03, and then resource, motor 2, B00, resource, motor 3, a02 resource order 4 b01 and then I want to hit save make sure you save every time or it's not going to save and now we're going to check to make sure it's actually on here. So we want to type in resource. And now I know A01 is matching what I wrote down. Motor 1, A03. Motor 2, B00. Motor 3, A02. And motor 4 is B01. And now what we're, we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to reassign that LED strip to use smart audio. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back onto resource. And we're going to look what the LED strip shows. So LED strip, LED strip 1, B05 is the pin. So what we want to do is resource. D strip one none to remove that pin off there. Save. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
use this as a soft cereal. And how you do that is we're going to go to resource, cereal, underscore, transmit, since uh, Smart Auto uses a transmit pin. And then we're going to do 1-1, one, one. this is for uh, soft cereal, B05. Just soft serial one. And what you want to do is come over here, click on TBS Smart Audio. Well, I'm sorry, first because I already had it re enabled. You want to first come over here to your configuration page, scroll down, enable, click on this because yours will be off. Click on that, then it'll hit save and reboot. And then once it starts up, go back to ports. Fix that. And then you're going to want to go to ports and then go to smart audio. And then hit save and reboot. And now it's all set up. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure is that your pin output is correct. So you will want to come over here, start up mortar one without the props on and make sure it is on the correlating side to this diagram. Um, once you're done with that, then you go and make sure, get your battery on there and make sure that your goggle is just showing smart audio through your OSD and your goggles. Um, any questions or any problems, leave comments and I'll try to answer all the questions you guys might have. Um, if you liked the video, like it, subscribe, and uh, look forward to more videos from me. And uh, hope you guys have a blessed day.